Hello, fourth grade. Today we are going to talk about the Alabama Virtual Library. Um, sorry, I've got some crazy hair going on here. Um, this is a really great resource. Um, anytime you need to do research, this is a good place to go. Um, when we have done research before, I provided you with the links to go to because I wanted to give you a leg up on the research process because um, doing a research paper in and of itself is a difficult task to take on your first year. So um, this is a fairly new skill, um, but I'm going to walk you through it and hopefully it will be self-explanatory. So you're going to go to your browser and you're going to go to Alabama. See, it pops up for me already. Virtual library. I'm going to select that. So here it is. If you notice, the website is avl.lib.al.us. Um, so we are going to click on this and it's going to take us to basically an online library. Okay. Um, the difference in doing research here versus doing research just on Google, where you just type in a poet's name to get their information, is that the stuff you're going to get here is not just written by some Joe Schmo that decided to write a fan page about Walt Whitman or anybody. Not that people do that, but people do do that. Um, these are going to be encyclopedias. They're going to be academic articles that people write when, um, you know, they are doing research on a specific historical figure. Um, there, when you get into science, this is where your hard and fast science, when you go, you know, all the trials and, and the labs and the abstracts. And I mean, this is where the real deal information is. And the reason that it is set apart from Google or anything that you get when you Google is that there are people that when you write this material, whether it's an encyclopedia or an article that goes in a magazine or a journal, um, it has to be reviewed several times before it gets published. So they check it for factual information. So if someone just writes something that's not true, they might be like, this this isn't, this isn't right. Um, so you know that when you're going to a site like this, um, that has academic articles and encyclopedias and almanacs and things like that, you know that you're getting real information. Um, so I wanted to just show this to you so that when you see it next year, whether it's in Mr. Copeland's class or at Altamont or wherever you find yourself, once you start doing research, um, you will have seen it before. And we're, I'm not making you cite this stuff because you're just turning it into a poem, but I'm just showing you how to find it. Okay. So Alabama Virtual Library, for our purposes, we are going to click middle school. Okay. Don't click elementary because they don't have as many resources and don't click high school because it's just, we're not there yet. We're starting with middle school. Okay. So we click middle school. And so you see here, it has all of these lovely resources that are included in our middle school search. So when we are searching here, then we are going to find information in those resources, okay? So if we want to do Langston Hughes, okay? In this search box, I am going to put even though I misspelled it, make sure it's spelled correctly. Otherwise you will not get the resources that you need. So you can hit enter or hit this little magnifying glass. And it is going to come up with all of these lovely um, search results. And it's going to look different than you normally see. It, okay. Like if you're searching for Google, it's a pretty cut and dry thing. This is going to have a lot of different information, how it's set up. Okay. If I click here, I'm not going to get the information. If I click here, I'm not going to get the information that I'm looking at. Okay. When you see this PDF full text right here, PDF full text, PDF full text, that is what I'm looking for because that is the actual article. If I were to click through just on this thing right here, it's going to give me the information about the article, which is great if you are citing it or you're looking for it at the library. Like if you're like, oh, I need this from the library, the local library, and you write down the information and then you get it from them, but you don't need the ISBN number. Like that's, we're just 
that's not what we're doing. So don't click on this part right here, um, unless you just want to look at it, but that's just not what we need. But clicking on the PDF full text is going to give you the article, okay? And this one may take forever to load because it's, oh, here we go. Never mind. Just kidding. This is a book, basically, that they have scanned. So here's our cover. And if you noticed, if you just scroll down, it's going to keep giving it to you. But look over here. We have a table of contents. So if you wanted to know about his early childhood, we're going to click on early childhood. It's going to pull up that specific article, part, I mean, that specific part of the book, because this is a capstone press book. So here he is, cute little guy with his mom in 1902. So um, we have information here. We've got information here. Um, all you do is turn and start writing it down. Just like I talked about getting the information um, and turning it into a poem, start writing it down. If I don't, um, printing from here, it says right here, print pages. You, If you have a printer and you want to print it off, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. Um, but you don't need so much information that you might want to do that. That's just up to you. Okay. So that is from a book called Links and Hughes by Capstone Press. Um, this is also a nonfiction book um, by Abdo, which those are going to be on your reading level. They're, they're a great resource. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. If you notice, this says literary criticism. That means they're going to they're going to talk in depth about what his poetry means. You don't necessarily need that for this project. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm just letting you know we don't need that. Um, letters from Langston. We have his letters. Now, I want to show you this. If you see, this looks different. Reference, okay? This is the Funk and Wagnall's New World Encyclopedia. So you know it's an encyclopedia article. It's going to have exactly what you need, okay? We've got our full text option there. And look at this. We've got his full name. It will even read it to you. I love that. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a big geek about research. I love doing research. Um, and so this is um, this is super fun for me. Um, but right here, you've got different things that he's written, where he was educated, what he did as a job. Um, it, and basically, you can write all that down and put it in your poem. Um, the Life of Langston Hughes, another thing that we might want to look at because it's an ebook and it's about his life. This is a periodical, <clears throat> excuse me, that talks about his life. Um, and I don't know that's going to have a whole lot because it's called This Week in History. They're not going to be very in-depth, but it might give you some. So we click on the PDF. Um, this talks about, oh, yeah, we've got some information here. Look at that. Where he attended, um, all that sort of thing. So you could um, write some of that down. Uh, let's see. And then some of this is, you know, like we don't need anything about American lynching culture. I mean, that's just not what we're doing. Um, and it's, you know, a little, a little much for us. Um, uh, some of these, even though <laughs> socialist joy in the writing of Langston Hughes, I mean, like we don't necessarily need that, but let me show you if we were to go back to that original page, middle school resources. Now, if you look right here, when I was showing you all of the resources here, if you want to narrow it down to just encyclopedias, Langston Hughes, Dictionary, Encyclopedia, we click on that. That's all it's going to search. So when you hit this, it's just going to search those guys. I believe, or is it giving me the same thing? Hold on a second. That might not be what it was doing. Well, you can, okay, but you can do this. You can just decide to just click on one of them and then search. All right, so you're just in Explora. So you're in a specific database. These are called databases. And we're going to pick up Links and Hughes. So see, we've got just reference, 
biography and periodicals on him, and it might be a little bit easier than wading through the literary criticism, okay? I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you, um, so I don't know if that tidbit helps or hurts. Um, I just wanted to get you guys to basically exercise your research muscles by um, checking this place out, and if there is anything that you're ever interested in, whether it's like, I mean, thermodynamics or you know, a certain writer, if you want to know about JK Rowling, if you want to know about any of anything that you are just like, I need, I need to know more about that. And you don't want to wade through all the garbage on Google. This is where you go to find it out. I'm telling you, it's, um, it's a wonderful place. And that's not just because I'm a librarian nerd. Um, if you use these databases, which is what each of these things right here are called, um, they're, they're magical. They give you all kinds of information and you know that it's legit. You know that it's it's not just some guy or, or gal sitting somewhere and giving their opinion about something. Um, the information that's in there has been fact-checked. Um, it's been passed over a number of people so they can read it. Um, and uh, you just know that if you're doing research for class, you're getting legitimate sources. Um, and it's something that we will talk about next year in library. Um, once you get in fifth grade, we talk about using verified sources, um, how to vet sources and make sure that what you're, what you're doing um, is legitimate. Um, because if you just, you know, when I'm making up lesson plans for class and I'm just finding examples of stuff, I'll use any sort of .com, .org, .net website, okay? Um, because I'm just, I'm getting information. Um, I'm, I'm teaching you guys something. And the ultimate goal is giving the information to you, you know, that, that I know that you need. Um, but if I'm writing a paper about a certain thing, um, I want to use something a little bit different, something a little more academic, something a little more scholarly. Um, and uh, one of the things that we're going to start doing at Advent is not only are you writing the paper in eighth grade, you're going to be you're going to be doing stuff in fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, where you have to do that research, where you have to do those work, work cited, where you have to find those verified sources, um, and this is a really great place. It there. UAB, UA, um, all of the local colleges have, I mean, the mind boggles at the amount of resources that they have. This is actually very, very small. Um, Birmingham Public Library also has these. If you go to their website, um, they have about the same, I would think, as ABL, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Um, but it's the local colleges that have you know, so if anybody has, ever needs to do research and their parents work um, at UAB or UA, um, you can get their login and you will be amazed at the stuff that you find. And I mean, because I, I think I mentioned this before, um, there are scholarly journals dedicated to like, like knitting. I mean, I'm not there. It's everything. So whatever you want to learn about, whatever you need to know, I think in fifth grade, couple years ago, they had to write something about, um, like something they were interested in. Everybody was interested in, like these couple of guys wanted to know about submarines. So, um, they got on and they started learning about like how they operated, how they function, how they, and they were like, I can't believe all this information that I found about this. And, but it, it it's really cool. So, I know a lot of you guys are interested in various things. Um, these are wonderful places to look. So, like I said, um, these are all broken down into different categories. Um, if you search right here, it's just going to search them all, which is fine. It's totally, totally, totally fine. Um, you know, we can even try this with Sonia Sanchez. Um, she was somebody, oh, let's do Emily Dickinson because she is, I mean, the mind reels when you think about the information that has been written on Emily Dickinson. Um, so we're going to have a lot that pops up if my web connection will work. So once again, we have a, an ebook, which I could look at the full text. Um, this is literary criticism. This is going to talk about her poetry. So if you were in Mr. Copeland's class and you decided to do a research project on Emily Dickinson's poetry, you could look through there. Um, another ebook talking about literary criticism. And it'll, I think this one also talks about her life. 
Uh, this one, uh, literary criticism. Okay, here we have reference, Funk and Wagnall. So when we click on this HTML full text, once again, we can listen to it. I can even make it talk to me as an Australian. Um, so we find out when she was born and when she, was, when she died. Um, severely religious, um, blah, 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 reclusive life, um, wrote in her poems and brief stanza forms. And we, we, we get all kinds of information that you can turn into your bio poem if you want to do one about Emily Dickinson. Um, because she's an intriguing character that we know stuff about. And also there are a lot of unknowns about her, which is very intriguing. Um, so um, I hope that this helps. I hope that this is a fun exercise. I hope that there is somebody that you want to learn about, and whether it's Emily Dickinson or Joy Harjo, um, which uh, I think I just read that she was reinstated as poet laureate for the next couple of years, um, which is cool. For those of you that liked the um, end of the world uh, table poem, I know that poem divided a lot of people. It was actually pretty interesting. Um, but Alabama Virtual Library. Ta-da. I hope that this helps. I hope that um, you can glean some sort of information and turn it into a bio poem. I know, I'm, I'm sure you can. Um, but just let me know if um, you have any trouble with it. I'll be happy to walk you through this. Um, but I just wanted to um, introduce this resource to you and um, let you know that it's um, it's here. And if you ever need it for anything, um, you know, it, oh, one other thing. If you click on something and it tells you you don't have access, they have a few things here and there that you have to have a certain subscription to be able to access. Just don't do it. I mean, meaning like, I don't have access, you don't have access, don't try to get access, just back out of that link and go to a different one. Um, because, you know, if this were any other time of the year, I would have full access um, and I would make sure that we had everything we needed for us to do a research paper. We're not doing a research paper and, and I'm not getting a subscription for these few sites that are few databases that are not included in the free version. Um, so if it ever, if you ever hit a dead wall, a dead wall, a dead end, um, just back out. Don't do that link, do a different one. It just means that it's a pay site and, um, we're not paying. So let me know if I can help you and um, happy researching, hopefully.